Hello, my friends. I hope you're well. Grim here. Thanks for hanging out for another D2 Resurrected video. Another Runeward rolling session. This time we are back in Haragoth where the rolls have treated us better than they did previously in the Pandemonium Fortress. We've also got the oversight of the great Socketeer himself, Larzak. And fittingly enough, we are working on some armor today. That's right. It's going to be Fortitude on the menu. So Fortitude is something that many mercenaries and including my own use, and we happen to have a pretty bad version of it, so it should not be difficult today to achieve a higher threshold of a fortitude roll for self-use, but never say never, because anything can happen. But this is made in a scarab husk. It's got really low defense. 2207 may not look low, but in terms of what fortitude can roll with the right base, it is low. And we've got only one to life per character level, so that can be improved upon as well. The possible rolls for that are 1, 1.125, 1.25, 1.375, and 1.5 at the max. We can also roll all res, which admittedly, this is decent, and you can get even better up to 30, but it is above average, the bottom roll being 20. Five. That said, we are overcapped on all res, so even if both of these magnificent bases roll low all res, which we certainly hope they don't, we're still probably going to use them over the Scarab Husk, especially if the life per level is a factor to consider as well. Speaking of bases, we're working with two today, both similar in overall defense. We've got a superior bone weave, 14% enhanced defense, ethereal socketed four, total defense of 865, and a sacred armor, normal, ethereal, total defense of 873, of course, socketed four as well. Both of these bases I got for Sir each, which in my opinion is a pretty good deal. I had people yelling at me in a game um, trying to sell me an 800 uh, defense similar item for at least Sir, and telling me I could never get anything better than that. And I'm like, my friend, I just got the sacred armor defense 873 for Sir in this exact game about four minutes ago. Anyway, leaving that aside, some decent deals, and both of which, by the way, are far more expensive than what I paid for this existing Fortitude, which maybe shows just how bad it is uh, compared to what Fortitudes can be. But I did get this one for Gull Ist Ist, so we are making a big investment here to try to upgrade the Fortitude, not only in the bases, but also in terms of L, Sol, Dol, Lo in each base. So let's get into it. Let's see what we can roll. Come on, big rolls. Let's make Durga immortal. We'll begin here with the Bone Weave. L, Soul, Dole, and Low. What have we got here? All Res 28, so right away this is an instant upgrade because that is actually definitely... Right? Yes, definitely what I have already on Durga. The defense on Durga right now on a Scarab Husk is 2207. This is almost 200 higher at 2398. And on top of that, we got that nice life roll. 117 to life based on character level. We're at 94 for our level at the moment. And that means we're sitting at 1.25 to character or to life per character level, which is a nice mid-roll, making this all in all a massive instant upgrade for Durga, and I might add, I also think that heavy armor and even medium armors get a bit of a jip here in Diablo 2 Resurrected because the light armors are so universally used, the heavy armors seen mostly on mercs and you can't even see them in game. So even though you won't see Durga's appearance change as a result of this, it's still cool to have something heavier thematically on him, but it's not over yet. We got the big heavy hitter up next with the sacred armor. This of course, again, higher strength and level requirements, but Durga will be more than capable of that. And we have once more, L, Soul, Dole, and low. What a powerful, it feels more powerful than any rune word we've said out loud before. There's just a kind of resonance to all of these together. And what is our role? All res 30 in the sacred armor. Let's go. All res 30. Boom. I'm so happy right away. 
Obviously, the defense is completely massive in the sacred armor. We're looking at 2634. The bone weave had about a moment in the sun, but it's already getting displaced in favor of the sacred armor. And then we also have a little bit extra to life than we got on the scarab husk. Admittedly, not quite as much as on the bone weave. This is the second from the bottom roll of what is it, 1.125? That's what it appears to be. So. Bone Weave, you're going on the market. Scarab Husk, I guess you're going on the market too, although you won't fetch us too much. And Durga is now sacred. Let's go. That was so cool, guys. We got the All Res 30 in the Sacred Armor base. So worth it. So hype. And let's see what Durga's overall defense is at now. 4721. It was at 4294 with a Scarab Husk, up to 4485 with the Bone Weave. And capping here for us at 4721, and you best believe he's going to put that to good use. So thank you very much for hanging out for these Rune Word rolls. I hope you've had fun with me. It's been a mixed bag. This is probably the single most hype moment here at the end of the ones that I have planned for now. Of course, I will do more in the future. If you have any suggestions for that, leave them in the comments below. I may or may not be able to accommodate, but I will certainly take them on board. Thank you very much for watching. May your own fortitude rolls be magnificent, and I'll talk to you soon. Take care.